Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, September 13, 2019. Joe, Anthony and I would like to introduce to you to our 1958 16-foot Penyan Sea Liner whose owner has entrusted her to Snake Mountain Boat Works for a, a pretty complete restoration. The boat, the hull is actually in incredibly sound condition as so far as we can discern at present. Anthony's been about tearing the inside out. Well, I'll just hand it over to Anthony and be sure to show us the really cool windshield as part of this. Well, the first thing we noticed with the uh, windshield is it folds itself down. Uh, it's all hinged. And, you know, folds out, folds back in, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, in true Penyan fashion, it's held down with a, a couple of brackets, right? Yeah. At, at the bottom of each. Yeah. But, but if you just swing that back to me, I think so I, we can see the ends of it. This, if you if you consider the fact that this is a 1958 hull, and this is a 1958 absolutely original windshield frame, look at the ends of those planks. There's just nowhere, no rot. Uh, she's been in dry storage for oh, I can't remember. I have to check with her owner but I believe well in excess of 25 years. But it must have been good storage because this is what we're finding throughout. Um, the combing ends, the combings themselves are in excellent shape. What else have you found, Anthony? Uh, we got a little bit of crack, crackage on those pieces. That's going to be a tough save, yeah. Um, one of the splash rail back here has a little rot on it. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is such a common thing with these boats. I, it's not super deep, but no, I I think we may end up uh, doing a white oak Dutchman there to rather than to try to fabricate full length splash rails to deal with uh, six inches or four inches of, of problems. Um, have you found more or is that? Uh, there's a little on the rear of it. Let me out. Her transom, well, Anthony's getting ready to show us. Her transom is just in excellent shape. How are the two corners? Especially uh, that one right this there. This one is a little punky right there. Uh, sort of where the, um, the pigeon? The, the, that's the kicker motor. It, this, uh, <laughs> I reached into the uh, bilge and pulled out a really early British Seagull. And please do not start hounding me. Can I buy the British Seagull complete with original mount? Uh, mounting bracket, transom mounting bracket, uh, the answer is no. If anybody's going to buy it, I am, but so far her owner has got a pretty tight hold on it. It's got a little movement of where it cracked right here. Um, I don't think it's completely rotted, but... It's I, I have a feeling, it, uh, uh, since that's below the water line and will be painted, uh, this is actually three, there's actually three planks there. I think we're going to end up removing the bottom plank and replacing it. It of course sits in the water all the time and it depends on the, the quality of the bottom paint to protect it. Um, the bottom the boat is pretty true. There, there are no obvious hogs. The uh, What is intriguing to me is the condition of the ribs. Uh, we haven't done a painstaking rib by rib 
examination yet, but uh, when you find ribs with bright varnish on them, uh, that tends to suggest you're not going to be finding ribs that are uh, dealing with rot or asking us to deal with rot. Um, this build, particularly between the the uh, hull stringers, is th these ribs have been used and abused and then abused again. We will go through and clean all of this and then uh, probably both Joe, Anthony and I are going to fully enjoy uh, getting down in there and sanding this so that it can take. It's, it was originally varnished, which is always a tough call. Um, it's beneath the floorboards. In our world, it would be much better for the boat to actually apply bilge paint between the, the stringers. But time will tell. We'll work with her owner, as we always do. Uh, her instrument panel is complete. She had a proper Penyan steering wheel. And she's powered by a Johnson outboard motor. Uh, we haven't, we haven't um, seen the motor yet. I think that's going to go off to to uh, Fran Secor in Otago, New York for a full restoration. Let's see the wheel. Yep, it, not only is it a correct wheel, it's a correct wheel that's really, really in nice shape. So we won't have to do much of that other than wax it. Um, top sides, of course this is a strip tight style boat, so we will work through the top sides all the way along. We will strip all of this paint, white paint off uh, below the water line. Somebody has blessed her with uh, heavily copper bottom paint. That all must come off. So once Anthony's finished stripping her, and stripping her includes removing these uprights, because as, you, as he pointed out, and is pretty obvious, both of their bases are pretty well shot. We'll, we'll come up with some strategy to save as much of it as we can. Uh, once we've got the uprights out, we'll brace this across so that we can roll it, and we'll begin this project on the bottom of the boat. I'm not sure what we'll find there. The, the stem certainly looks to be in excellent shape. Again, we could find no hogs, no evidence of rot on the hull itself. And so, Anthony will continue his deconstruction, after which we'll flip her, and as usually falls to me, the bottom paint will come off. That's our update on Friday, September 13, 2019, on our newly arrived 1958 16-foot Pen Yen Sea Liner. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.